Brothers and sisters, on the day of my 50th birthday, when I owe a tremendous gratitude to my parents for the gift of life, and I hope we all appreciate what our parents have done for us, Jesus tells us the following words. Anyone who prefers father or mother to me is not worthy of me. Sometimes the message of the Lord sounds very tough, not only to us in the year 2020, but to all those who listened to him 2000 years ago. I guess that's why many of his followers were leaving him as soon as they heard from his mouth a controversial statement. However, the Lord never apologized for his words of truth. He never said, I'm sorry if I offended you. Instead, Jesus warned his followers, anyone who does not follow in my footsteps is not worthy of me. Through today's Gospel reading, the Lord instructs us on the priorities we have to embrace in being his ambassadors to the world. We must be ready to sacrifice for him important things in life. A part of our Christian vocation is to make right decisions and always choose Him, even over our own relatives. Sometimes it is not easy to do that, but we have to carry our cross, which will eventually become a sweet burden. To follow Him means to be ready to give up even our lives for Him. Anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it, he said. Our Divine Master wants us to remember that our true home is not here on earth. Our existence here is only temporary. Our real home is waiting for us in heaven. Sometimes we cannot imagine our lives without the people we love. Many husbands or wives mourn for years after losing their loved ones. Many of them are angry with God for taking away their companion of life. Unfortunately, I must say it, that's not a healthy attitude. The grief is very important and natural, but if it lasts for many years, it becomes a source of an unhealthy way of living. We simply need to accept God's will and move on with our lives by continuing to do His work. We have to understand that earthly relationships will not last forever. At the moment of our death, everything will change for us as well. We will not be bound anymore to our spouse, parents, friends and others. That's why everything we experience on earth now cannot be the most important reality. We need to look at other humans and material things through the glasses of eternity. If our relationships with other people and earthly attachments are too strong and don't allow us to have a healthy relationship with God, we need to reject them. That's why Jesus said in the Gospel that who loves the family members more than him is not worthy of him. He wants us to look at present life from the perspective of heaven. St. John's Gospel says that everything was created by God through Jesus Christ. So many people make a disastrous mistake in their lives. They place material things before their Creator. Sometimes earthly stuff and human beings become more important than God. It is a very dangerous situation. As a priest, I hear similar stories over and over again. Father, a dying person tells me, I wasted my life. I didn't have time for God because I thought I had to work seven days a week. My work became my God. Or, Father, I always thought that my family was the most important thing in life. I didn't care about my spiritual life or my faith. I couldn't find time for a prayer or to go to church and I didn't care if my children or my spouse believed in God. 
We didn't speak about religion at home. Now I'm dying on my own. My children don't have time to visit me. Maybe because I didn't teach them about the respect they should have for God and their parents. Brothers and sisters, if God is not number one in our lives, nothing else will be working well. That's a simple statement, but how hard it is for many to accept it. Ask yourself today, what is my priority in life? How do I need to balance my activities in order to allow God to take control over my life? Please pray with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you to help me to choose you daily as my Savior and as the most important person on earth before my family and friends. Help me to understand that when you are my number one priority, I will have the best relationships with others. Help me to focus my attention on you and your heavenly kingdom. Amen.